Yog Moon Dog Investigations. Now we're going to examine the question of whether Stephen Paddock was a gun runner and had a possible Australian connection because nobody said who he was running guns with. You know, here are the gun runner, gun runner. Okay, let's examine why Australia. Well, in 1996, in uh, Tasmania, Australia, there was a massacre of 28, uh, 28th of April, 1996. 35 people were killed and 23 were injured. After that, there was massive protest and the government banned automatic and semi-automatic fi automatic firearms and new license requirements, establishing firearms registry and collecting thousands of guns in a buyback. Now, the police cannot admit that has eradicated the black market because criminals are going to get illegal weapons. Now, we know the Australian gun trade is lucrative. Why? Now, why would Stephen Paddock be interested in this? Because of the money. His brother, according to his brother, he went to the IRS and was seeking to make a lot of money. There wasn't any. Then he went to the aerospace industry, and there wasn't any. So then he was seeking the money further and went into the real estate business, where there seemed to be some money being made there. But now, the Las Vegas police believe he's been living a secret life and buying guns since 1982. So... Las Vegas Police Department is telling us that they he was on the radar since 1982. Now, guns in Australia that are considered clean, single guns, can cost a minimum of $15,000. So, look at Stephen Paddock's room carefully. It doesn't look like a sniper's nest. And we've all seen the pictures. You know, I mean... It, Here's all the guns he had. He only had like one or two or three of each model. You know, it was like display models. You know, we've got hundreds of these somewhere in a warehouse. Here's your little, you know, floor models, if you will. Like I said, looks like a gun showroom in there. You know, a sloppy one, maybe. With not much room to display stuff, but looks like he gave it a shot. Guns here and there. You know, and why were they all scattered about? You know, it looked like somebody, you know, had rummaged through them and was trying to find the one that they liked, you know, and were just putting down the other ones anywhere. You know, I don't like these. Now, try this one. You know, and they went through them. You know, that's why they're here and there. And, you know, bipods and tripods are set up everywhere. You know, here's another one just sitting there in the oddest place, you know, by the front door. You didn't see anything you like? Well, look, there's more to choose from here in the next bedroom. There they are on the bed like they were displaying them. Was Stephen Paddock a straw buyer for a gun running operation? This is the question I'm asking y'all. Y'all, I'd love to hear your comments on this. We're all investigating this together. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll subscribe to your channel. And then it works as a snowball effect. We all get many subscribers. Till next time, Moon Dog out.